Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm here with Cougar head football coach Randy Ori, talking about a 40 to 30 win over Ripon the other day. And Randy, I'd like to start with this. Um, it was a, just a beautiful day for football, uh, senior day. Uh, we had 12 seniors to honor, and then to have an exciting game like that. And I have to start with something you said to me after the game. It was one of those days where, especially in the second half, Rippin just kept coming back and coming back. And uh, your guys, uh, like the old saying goes, they bent, but they never broke. They, they, they kept their wits about them and uh, in the end got it done. Well, number one, we were very excited for our 12 seniors to start their senior year that way. The weather was great. It was a, it was a beautiful day to be out there playing college football. Uh, I thought our guys came out very well, played very hard football, and then we had a little adversity. We had some things go not our way, and they fought back, and that's the sign of a little bit more mature team, a team that's been around a little bit, and that was exciting because that gave us something now that we can build on. Not only did you win the football game, but there are things we can correct and even get better for this next week. All right, now there are, there are a ton of individuals to talk about on this one. Uh, and let's start with your passing game. Uh, Shane Vernala, uh, another excellent uh, performance, um, 330 some yards passing. Uh, most impressive, I think, five touchdowns, no interceptions. And as far as your receivers, uh, Allison and Lofton were their usual dangerous self. And also one of your new guys, Corey Dooley, uh, he, ha he made a big play on the first play from scrimmage. And uh, I mean, overall, that, that, group was, uh, that group was dangerous out there. Well, we think we've got some great wide receivers. You know, we mentioned three of them already that are very good receivers, and we've got a whole bunch more. So we're excited about the receiving core. Uh, Shane's a great quarterback. We also have a couple other guys that can play, so we're excited about the fact that now we've got some depth at quarterback, which we never had before. Um, and, but one of the things that you didn't mention was our offensive line. That was the best play of an offensive line in the four years that I've been here. I thought they played fantastic. They kept people off of Shane, and it starts all up front. If you don't have a good line, it doesn't matter what you have behind it. But I think they kept people off Shane a lot, and the few times he had to scramble, he made some big plays. So. Mm. He's definitely a great threat to have back and healthy. You beat me to one of my later questions, but yes, the offensive line, uh, I noticed that Vernala was not sacked at all. There was like one roughing the passer penalty on Rippon, but other than that, they, uh, uh, Vernala got to keep a pretty clean jersey for, for well, the Well, and, and here's the thing about that. As we watch that film, that's one of the best defensive line that we've seen. I mean, four across the board, they were big, they were strong, and they kept after it. So it wasn't like we were playing a team, I and mean, that's a 7-3 and three football team from last year, and all of their players are seniors or juniors. So they're pretty much dominated by a team that's coming back with experience, Ron Ernst, their head coach, and I have been friends for 20 years, and we've talked before the game, and he felt this was one of his best group of young men that he's had. So this was a quality team, and they showed that when they were able to bounce back a little bit in that third and fourth quarter. All right. Let's talk about your uh, rushing game a little bit, too. Uh, some changes there. You had uh, two guys making their uh, Cougar debuts in uh, Gaines and Moise. And uh, another guy, Randall Newton, who played uh, limited last year. Mm -hmm. But uh, theirs was a game that, you know, they kind of gradually worked from the beginning. Uh, second half, they were making some bigger plays, some getting some first downs. And then it all culminated with Moise breaking off that 90-yarder late in the game. Oh, that was a great run by Lance. But one of the things that happened was early in the game, they were putting six people in the box and we were throwing the ball. And then as we were having success throwing the ball, they started widening, and that's the idea of our offense, spreading people out. And so when they start putting five in the box, then we're able to put a hat on a hat, we call it, and we're man on man, we can block every one of them, and we were gaining the yards. So what really is difficult to stop our offense is the ability for us to throw and, pass, and run it. I mean, and so when you have both, if you take away one, we're gonna do the other. And if your defense is taking away the pass, for example, we're going to run the ball. So that's what happened more in the second half than it did in the first. All right. All right. Turning to the defense now, um, 
when I think of your defensive play from Saturday, the first thing that comes to my mind is some of those seniors really stepping up and leading. And uh, we can name A.J. Seidler, mm -hmm. who led the team in tackles, also had a big interception, a 30-some yard return. Uh, Tim Barr uh, made a couple, uh, he, it seemed he was after the quarterback all day. He had mm -hmm. a couple big hurries, especially late in the game. There was a third and a fourth down where he just got in the guy's face and kind of broke up the timing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then An Nguyen, uh, who had both of your sacks on the day and uh, also blocked a field goal at the end of the first half. You know, the, our D-line played really well, and we felt our front was going to be our strong point because that's really where we have the most experience. Our secondary is where we have the least amount of experience because all four of our secondary guys, three of the four are brand new to the program. One is a transfer in Kareem Dabney, and the other two are true freshmen. Um, but the front, I think you're right, those seniors really stepped it up. Tim Barr was, uh, was just wreaked havoc the whole day in their backfield. Uh, he did a fantastic job. And one of the things that really is exciting, that I'm excited for for them, is all the hard work that they've been doing for these years is now starting to pay off, and they're get, reaping the benefits. Tim came in great shape. Ang and, and AJ all came in great shape to start camp. So now they were able to get going and build off of that. And uh, the senior leadership makes a huge difference. And like we said early at the beginning of this, we've got 12 guys, and this is going to be their year. You know, you mentioned Kareem Dabney, who had an interception in the game, and then you had another uh, freshman, Deshaun Battle, who also had a pick, uh, winning the turnover battle 3-0. That was uh, that's, that's always huge. Yeah, that's always huge. You know, you always want to get more turnovers. Um, we created some of those turnovers with either pass rush that caused a bad throw or a good break on the ball. And the thing that we always stress on the defensive side of the ball, if you ever come to practice, one of the first things we do is work on our turnovers. We work on our tackling, work on our turnovers, because that's the whole goal of defense is get the ball back to the offense. All right, and finally, we need to talk about special teams a little bit. Uh, your new punter, Emilio Ariza, had a nice day. Uh, a lot of punts for a good strategic position. And the Cougars, I thought, did a nice job of handling the field position battle in the first half of that game. And then also, uh, we mentioned on with the blocked field goal, you guys had, I, I can't remember if it was three or four blocked kicks at, uh, in that game. A uh, couple extra points were tipped, uh, the one field goal. I don't believe I've ever seen that many block kicks in a game. Well, I think that goes back to the defense and the personality of our defense right now. They're very aggressive. They get after it. And that is the sign when you've got 11 people flying to a football when the guy's trying to kick it. That makes a huge difference. And that's what happened Saturday. Our extra point and field goal blocks, nobody took a play off. They were getting after Ooh. it. And I think that made the huge difference that we were getting people in the kicker's face. Um, you know, the thing that, and then we didn't talk about our kicker, who's a true freshman, you know, he did have one blocked and that wasn't his fault. That was really the fault of our line who, who, who missed a guy coming through. But otherwise, he did a great job on all his extra points. And we really feel that um, our kicking game, although it's young, both guys are new to the program, one's a freshman, one's a transfer. There's, you know, they've got ways that we can get better, but we are pleased with what happened this, this week. You know, while we're on this subject, too, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention um, Rippon was stuffed on a couple of two-point conversion attempts late in the game, and one of them where the receiver made the catch right near the goal line and just got absolutely popped by. There was a crowd. It was on the far sideline. I couldn't see exactly who made that hit, but, I mean, when you say those guys were not taking a play off, <laughs> You're right yeah. on target. Well, and we're happy with the fact that the, the pursuit and the getting after the ball, we always say when you get 11 guys on defense to the football, good things are going to happen for us. And I think the Saturday proved that they were going to fly to the ball. And that's one of the things, again, it's something we've stressed, getting the turnovers, fly to the ball, never take a playoff, work hard, keep going, keep fighting. And we're really happy with the fact that they did that Saturday. Now what we've got to do is we've got a week to prepare uh, a week off, I guess, is a better way to say it, and two weeks to prepare um, for Hope College. Right now, that's our mind is on hope, and we've got to get 
uh, everything organized and some of the mistakes we made we can correct and then we're going to get them better so that next week when we play Hope we'll be ready to roll. And it must be nice after a win like that to actually have the extra time uh, by week this week but uh, yeah the, um, with the guys all excited after that win the other day it's, it's got to make it a little, uh, little better for you and your staff. Well, winning always solves all the problems <laughs> and it always makes it nice to go back to practice and I think our guys have a great attitude and we're very, very pleased. Uh, coaching staff, I think we've got a great staff. I think we've got a great group of young men who are working very hard and they're going to they're gonna give a good show every Saturday. All right. Well, congratulations on a great win and we can hardly wait till the 17th when Hope College comes to Concordia. Thank you. For Coaches Weekly, and head coach Randy Ori, I'm Jim Egan. Thank you for watching.